So discrimination or human rights abuses or neglect or transphobia, homosexual, uh, hom homophobia, all these issues are very abstract. Um, and so the, the power of storytelling is that um, we make it very real through the personal stories of the people whose lives we, lives we tell. Um, and I think that, you know, I mean, it's, it's been studied extensively that, that uh, humans struggle with large numbers. They, they struggle with abstract concepts. When you can put a person in front of them, they get it. And I think that's, um, that's the power of, of storytelling and uh, of, of uh, amplifying the voices of people from marginalized groups. It's really important for me to make an impact with my work. And so when I think about how can I be most effective, how can I get the biggest bang for my storytelling buck, I think that uh, it's um, easiest, in fact, to work with groups who don't have the privileged access to audiences and influential audiences that I have. So in the case of people with mental health issues or people from the LGBT communities in countries where um, you know who they are is, uh, is very difficult, uh, they often, the narratives of their lives are controlled by elements who are sometimes um, either hostile towards them or just neglect them. And so I have, my privileged position allows me to be able to tell their stories and, and have their stories shared with a, with a really large audience. And uh, um, it's really just about how can I be most effective? And I think I can be most effective by telling the stories of people who have difficulty telling their stories themselves. Yeah, I really like the openness of this festival. I think that I mean, as much as I think as a, as a photographer, it's really nice to see your images on the wall of a gallery because I think that's how they're best presented. Um, you know, if, if your work is really about reaching audiences, you really want the public to be able to see the work. Um, and I was walking through the festival the, uh, the other day and I saw a you know, group of school kids coming through having, having a tour of the work. And, you know, if this was in a, in a gallery or a museum, they might not have access to that. So um, I think it's especially important when you are telling stories of marginalized groups that... Um, that their stories are heard by as many people as possible because I think it's through stories that we uh, that we, we um, form our impressions of the world and the way that we see the world has a direct impact on how we interact with it. So I think there's real power in having the having the work in the public. <laughs> Kathmandu, Kathmandu, Kathmandu.